Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Topeak Torque Stick. Having a torque wrench when you're working on your bike is essential, and that ensures that you don't over tighten something or leave it loose and have it come loose when you're riding. And bicycle specific torque wrenches are designed for lower ranges, which matches what you typically find on your stem, crank, or other bike parts. So what we have today is the Topeak Torque Stick, designed between two to 10 newton meters and very compact, sleek design. Packaging wise, very simple. You have the iconic white and yellow for Topeak. Really small box, cardboard box with a nice transparent window that actually lets you see the torque wrench and the attached bit holder. On the sides, you'll find information about the torque wrench, uh, how do you use it, and some of the specs. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box, and while I do that, we'll go over the specs. Retail price on this is $110. It's a click style torque wrench, so once you feel and hear the click, you simply stop. It's rated for 2 to 10 meters, which should cover most maintenance items on your bicycle. It also features aluminum and steel construction with a reversible and ratcheting head. They also include an attached bit holder with five bits. You get three allens and then two torques. So inside the box, you get the instruction manual as well as the certification of calibration in there. And then the torque wrench itself. So quite small and the attached bit holder uh, attached to it already. Now let's take a look at the weight of the torque stick. Construction feels really nice with the aluminum design and steel bits, so it should be fairly light. So the torque wrench itself comes in at 128. And then we'll try the attached uh, plastic holder for the bits with the bits inside. That comes in at 42 grams. So now let's take a look at the fit and finish of the Topeak Torque Stick. Now what's clever about this, it's very compact, something you can easily put in your backpack, uh, your jersey pocket, or even your saddlebag if you have a larger one. Now it has two components. You have the bits, which is a little plastic holder, and then the steel bits on the inside. And then you have the torque wrench itself, and it's really nicely finished. It has a semi-gloss finish with little fingerprints on here to indicate where to hold it. A very clear gauge that shows the uh, 2 to 10 newton meter range and a nice knurled handle on the bottom. You also have the ratcheting head which makes a nice sound and it's reversible so simply rotate it to tighten or loosen. So it's loosen and then to tighten. So really uh, well done and I really like the black finish in particular. It makes it stand out from the typical uh, polished designs. So let's go look at the bits. It has a little plastic holder and it's nice, it just snaps on, so easy to keep them together. Now to operate this, uh, you can see the little window, there's five bits inside. You slide the top cover off to the right, and that exposes the five bits. You have uh, five total, three of them are Allen bits, so you have a three, four, and a five millimeter, and then a T20 and a T25 Torx bit. Now these are all magnetically held in place so that you see they don't actually fall. Taking them out is a little bit difficult. Uh, the easiest thing I found is to push down on them, on the head, and then they pop out. So pretty standard bits, you can probably swap this into most tools. And then like I said, magnetically drops in. Some of them are harder to take out. You really have to uh, slide them out. But once they're out, these are hardened steel and they feel pretty nicely made with knurling on them as well. I like the little plastic bit holder as well as it keeps everything together and you don't lose the bits. And back to the torque wrench, you can see to operate this, you pull uh, away from the torque wrench and then rotate it to either make it tighter, so higher value. You can see as I rotate to the right, I'm increasing the torque value from the minimum of two all the way to 10. Has a nice yellow line here that really indicates where you're at. And then when you have the value you want, you want to line up the uh, line here and then compress this in. So you see, really easy to operate and the graphics are really nice and crisp. As with a lot of Topeak products, they feel really premium and they look premium. Also, these little fingerprint graphics are a nice indicator of where to hold it as you want to hold it from the bottom to get the most leverage. And the knurling here is also really nicely done. As with any torque wrench, uh, especially these click style, 
uh, when you store them, you want to take it all the way to the loose setting, the lowest setting, and store it in that setting. Uh, it can actually be damaged by storing it at a higher torque value. And the other note is uh, don't use these as a breaker bar. So if you have a really stuck bit, don't use this as you can damage it if you go beyond the 10 newton meter. So now let's do a little demo of the torque stick in action. The great thing about a bike is everything is either a 3, 4, or 5 Helen bit. And most repairs are simply handlebars, stem, seat posts, little things you adjust. And they all have usually low torque values. So torque stick is perfect for this. Uh, my Easton stem here says 5 newton meters. So let's see if that's up to torque. So I have a, the bit in there. And then you can see. So nice solid click. The great thing about this is uh, it's designed for lower ranges. So if you use a torque wrench that's designed for, say, 5 to 50, the lower values are less uh, accurate. So it's important to have a torque wrench with the lower values still being accurate. So the smaller range means it's more accurate. Try the other side, and again, it's a nice positive click. What I have here is an Amazon bestseller. This is the Pro Bike Tool. And this is actually a pretty slick one. It retails for $70. Includes this plastic carrying case. And it's a much larger. That's the big thing. With the Topeak, it's rarely the cheapest offering, but the premium construction and compact size is something you're paying for. So with the Pro Bike Tool version, you get an extension and you get more bits. You get everything from the two to 10 Allen bits and then T10, T25, and a T. 30. And obviously these are larger bits with uh, holders as well. So I can see they're designed to actually uh, be one unit. So putting the torque wrenches side by side, you can see obviously the Pro Bike Tool one is quite a bit larger. And like as I mentioned, the black finish on the Topeak really makes it look a lot slicker than the polished finish. This also has a ratcheting head that's reversible, which is something you'd find but again, this is uh, the construction is not quite as nice. A lot more play here. Uh, this one's a lot tighter. And then with the Pro Bike Tool, there's actually an initial calibration you're supposed to do, which I only found out by looking at the videos uh, several months later. A longer knurled handle, and this also goes up to 20 newton meters versus the 10 on the Topi. But otherwise, really the same uh, design. Usability-wise, you have to hold a release and then spin it until you get to the desired point. So same thing, line up the lines, and with the higher torque values here, you can actually do a uh, little fractional uh, values while the Topic only lets you do increments of one. But I think the big uh, takeaway here is this is a better value, but larger. Obviously not something you can just take with you. Uh, this is actually something you could travel with. You could put in your uh, saddlebag and carry. A uh, very compact and simple design. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Topeak Torque Stick. What we like about it is the compact design. It fits in your pocket and with the attached tool bit holder, keeps everything uh, together. Also the premium build quality and finish is really nice to see. The semi-gloss black makes it look like a very high-end piece of equipment. Also it has a very strong click when you reach the torque value, so it has very good feedback and you won't over torque any bolts when you're working on things. Some of the cons are the premium price you're definitely paying a higher price for the compact size and build quality. Also, the torque increments are only whole numbers, so if you have a 5.5 or any fractional uh, torque value, you won't be able to easily do that with this uh, torque stick. It also can be difficult to remove the bits from the holder since they're magnetically held in place with no uh, cutout on the backside. You really have to push down fairly hard. Taking everything into account, we'd give the torque stick an 8.7 out of 10. If you're looking for a very premium and compact torque wrench, the Torque Stick is definitely a great option. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.